today. Um, we ran over east quick to grab the 360 RT because uh, we're getting late in the year now and we want to uh, make sure our corn planter is going to work when we go get it hooked up because it ain't even been hooked up. It hasn't been out of the shed since we put it away last year. So I got to drive about though, probably 20 miles west and uh, we're going to hook the planter up, pull it out, unfold it, make sure it's all going to work, grease it and stuff. Um, then after we get it all working right, this thing's going to have to come back over here eventually get put back on the toolbar so we can put ammonia on when it's fit. So I don't know when that's going to be. I doubt it'll be today because we got to uh, get the grain cart out so we can get the planter out. We'll probably wash the grain cart because it hasn't been cleaned real well since we played in the mud last fall. So we'll just have to see what happens with that part and uh, hopefully, hopefully, maybe by the end of the week. So that's the first cornfield that was planted. It was uh, 8th, 9th probably, pretty close to May. And uh, today's the 20th, about two weeks, and uh, it's finally popping up. You can row it most, for the most part, you can row it. It's actually looking pretty good, and that's, uh, that's probably almost the first, that's probably the first corn planted in uh, northwest to west central Ohio. So, I don't know, if it grows, it'll be good, but we'll just have to see what happens with the rest of it, because as in right now, um, we definitely got a thousand acres, uh, 1200 acres of corn we got to plant for the dairy. So they can chop it. So we might end up planting corn end of June, but silage corn, you can get away with it. Um, our corn for grain, uh, I mean, honestly, we'll probably quit planting that. Probably about June 20th too, give or take. 15th and 20th, something like that. Beans, well. We'll plant beans clear up into July, just like planting double crop beans, so we'll have to see what happens, but beans for sure will probably be ended up going into July if they got to, and corn will probably be cut off about June 15th, so we'll see what happens, it just ain't, it ain't very cool at all, so I don't know, the good part is though, I've told dad this too, that uh, the school's going to be out here, I think end of the week, so I told him if we, uh, if we need help, I can get him an army. So, we'll have to see. So anyway, here's the Scioto River, right when it starts. It starts just right down there quite a ways yet. This bridge is rough, especially on tracks.
there I just turned the vats on to make sure they're gonna work um, I'm pretty sure that's actually it it all worked out pretty well so after we try that I think we're gonna be done I think it's all grease this are all in it so we should be good to roll guys so that's gonna be it for today i uh, actually forgot to do my outro deal or whatever you want to call it so i uh right before i get it all edited i came out here and did it quick doing it quick so anyway that's gonna be it we got it all hooked up and should be ready to go whenever we need it and uh we're just gonna leave it sitting there and see how the weather plays on uh, each part we just have to see what happens but anyway guys thank you guys for watching if you want you can subscribe to my channel uh, like, comment, um, and follow me on Snapchat, Farm Brothers 3, Instagram, Farm Brothers 3. And I uh, guess that's it for now. I'll uh, catch you guys in the next video.